Welcome guys. Today, September 8th, Friday, we just, our car's down here. Grouse, we just bumped a rough grouse right there. Got my bow right here and everything. So we're gonna shoot a grouse, hopefully we're gonna eat it. Woo! Grouse down. Going on a backcountry elk hunt. Got my bow with me. Flip flops kind of fell. Uh, making our way up this steepest part of the, the hike right here. Brother's gonna go pick up the grouse and off we go. 10 minutes in, bag already fell apart. I don't know if you guys could tell from the color of my face, but I'm sweating like a pig. This is the most I've sweated all year long. Even when Joe and we went to his mule deer hunt and we were hiking up that, that cliff, for some reason this is giving me such a heat workout. When, when Joe and we went, it was just a physical exhaustion, but I wasn't sweating as much. But for some reason right now, I'm sweating like a pig. My bag is probably close to 55 pounds. And then plus my bow, that's probably a total of 60 pounds on me. So probably halfway, right, right around halfway, but right now it's just slowly inclining. So my brother and my dad went on ahead and I better get going too. Good morning, today is September 9th, 2017. Opening day for archery elk here in Washington. So my dad, my brother, and myself, we got here yesterday night. Uh, we were able to locate one bull about 200 yards away from camp. So I have no idea if he's still there, but it gave us hope, it gave me hope that there's elk in the area. So right now it's about 5.32 in the morning. I have about 23 minutes until shooting light, legal shooting light. So we're just sitting at camp right now. I'm just waiting for it to get a little lighter and then we're gonna walk our way over to the water hole and see if the bowl is still over there. Wish us luck, I won't be filming much, so we'll see how it goes. So, we are just actually sneaking in to my water hole, and we're just hoping that on our way down there we don't bump any elk. And then we're just hoping that if we can get down to the water hole early, you know, we sit there when the elk are still coming, coming through, hopefully we'll get a bowl of shot off. I'm pretty excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. So, I am a total amateur elk hunter. I barely practiced elk calling. Everything about elk, I am just a total amateur, so. 
Wow. Opening day, Washington State, first opportunity, her ball. Couldn't even draw my bow. Alright guys, so right now it's 4 o'clock p.m. And our trail cam had a, a bull that came in at 5 o'clock yesterday, so basically an hour away. But um, we opted out of the water hole because it started raining. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it start, it's starting to rain, which is a good thing. So I told my dad, like, if it's raining like this, our chances of seeing a bear out in the open right now is a lot higher than if we saw see an elk coming at the water hole. I'm not saying they're not. But since we're planning to go home today, I figured why not just go back to the tent, get everything ready, and then you know, as our on our way back, see if we can run into a bear. So that's what we're doing. Came out of the water hole, bedding area, hiking up this part. Today is just a it was a good day. I know I missed a six by six, biggest Washington State bowl I've ever seen in my life on public land but our day could have been that we we didn't see anything all day you know so always look on the bright side so basically we got to where my brother and i saw the five point last time if you guys followed if you guys watched that one video of me and david we came and set up the trail cams here the five point was right here so recap today my brother we woke up well yesterday we came here we got here we located a bowl right on this little patch of stuff right here he was somewhere around here Came this morning, got to the cliffs, bumped a cow elk, went to the water hole, missed the six point. After that, it's just been dead. So, this weather, it's cool, but it's humid, so I'm sweating like a pig. I go to camp, clean up everything, clean up whatever we want to stay and whatever we're going to take back, and we're off. See if we can spot a bear on the way. Alright, so here's camp. There's our tent. Uh, taking out what I want to stay, what, what I want to leave here taking whatever I don't want to leave here to the car and then we're gonna head off home on the way there see if we can knock down a 300 pound black bear <laughs> 